Jan Roberts with a big lead going into one of the checkpoints. Followed by Gary Preston. riders that started, only about 400 made it through this checkpoint. Into the pits with Jay and Roberts with a pretty good sized lead. Fuel, a drink of water, and whatever else you want to do. Well, try to keep a cool head and make sure you get a, a good pit, get your tank full, get your goggles a dirty wipe them off, this means quite a bit being able to see, of course, and if you're thirsty, get a quick drink of water. I'd consider uh, 15 seconds a good pit stop. I think it took Jan a little longer than uh, 15 seconds. getting his uh, tank marked before he goes out to the second loop. Only in a desert race can you get lost in the pits. JN can't quite pick up the line to know which way the second loop goes. Find somebody in the crowd points the way to him. Gary Preston in the pits, running in second. Whitey Martino getting a little wheel adjustment. Brenda McClellan, our man in the pits. Jim, how's it going so far? Okay, everything's fine except for the front rim. Good luck. He hit a rock. Congratulations. Bob. It's rough. He says it's rough. He wants a cigarette. The gas is going to stand by for a fire. We're backing off now. He's getting for a cigarette and there he goes, number 56. How's it going, Don? Fine, everything's wonderful. This is uh, really a tremendous excitement. Goggles wiped off, water in the mouth, gas in the gas tank. The pit stops are averaging about 10 seconds. Other motorcycles are roaring by as they go to their respective pits to be gassed up. How's it going out on the track? Harry, not much more than one word or two from each of these drivers as they come into the pit stop. The engine's racing, being gassed up, making last minute adjustments as one half of the loop of the complete course is being made. Check this out, pretty darn close. Running in second place was Gary Preston, followed by Bill Bryant on a 250 Greaves. Gary's on a big fire-breathing 650 Triumph. In the tight and twisty stuff, the little 250 Greaves had a big advantage. But in the sand wash, the big triumphs had the advantage. In fourth place was Larry Berquist on a BSA. Unfortunately, 
Larry also passed away. J.N. Roberts in one of the final checkpoints. Followed by Gary Preston, who obviously passed uh, Brian in the wash with more power. And here comes Bill Fryan. Larry Berkowitz comes through the checkpoint in fourth. By this point, there were only 250 riders left out of the 801 that started. Jan was a carpenter, lived in Sun Valley, California, and was 25 years old at the time. talked to Jay in about his training routine. To keep in shape for riding, I do a lot of riding. If I can stand on the pegs the whole race, I feel that I have a great advantage over the competition due to the fact that your legs act as a second set of shock absorbers. You can always ride better the first part of the race due to the fact that you aren't tired. When you do get tired, you start getting sloppy and you'll make a lot more mistakes. If you can't read the terrain fast, you're just not going to go fast. But you have to concentrate at all times. Uh, you drop your guard once, you're going to get off. When you get off going fast, you're going to get hurt. We did this uh, stop motion thing with JN. Figuring we're really pretty brilliant to do it. 